Yeah, sure. So a big day for the airport. Uh, 20 new routes announced by Jet2, their first time into Liverpool, new base. Uh, seven new routes in total, routes which the airport's been looking for a long time. Five of the routes that are already operated, they're only operated once a week. So we feel it's, it, it's a product that's really been missing here from Liverpool. And for far too long, really, customers from the Liverpool region having to use other airports to go on the holidays and now they can come to their local airport and you use Liverpool Airport. So what's going to be the impact on the airport in general? I think quite significant. So when it starts, which is March 28th, 2024, we expect an additional 800,000 passengers in year one, which from a you know, from an operational standpoint will, will bring some challenges, but one that we're committed to, to retain our faster, easier, friendlier uh, motto. And it, you know, it, it will bring a lot of additional opportunity for further growth. But really the big thing for us is allowing passengers from Liverpool to use this airport. And I think that's that's the, been the key driver for us. Leading on from that, how is it going to impact the wider region? I think, you know, certainly from a, from a job creation standpoint, initially we'll be looking at around 200 jobs. That's with four based aircraft. And, you know, we only have to look at what Jet2 have done with recent bases. That can grow pretty significantly. So, you know, we'd be hopeful that that 200 jobs can, can be, be you know, doubled in the, in the years to come. And the jobs with a wide variety of skill sets, engineering, cabin crew, jobs at the airport. So I think for the city region, it does have a, a, a strong economic benefit for, the, for everyone. I mentioned to John that obviously you had to make the difficult decisions throughout the pandemic to keep the airport open. And like this is obviously a really good sign yeah. of strength for the airport. So is it part of like a wider growth plan? Yeah, I mean, you're right, COVID was tough times. I mean, there was a point where there was three or four of us only working in the airport, you know, renegotiating every contract we have. There were some bleak moments, you know, look, look, you know, days with 15 people coming through. But the aim has always been to grow. In 2019, we had the strategy to get to 6 million passengers. We were at 5 million by 2024. And that's kind of remained the strategy, but probably just push back until sort of 2025, 26. But the aim for us is to absolutely keep growing, you know, to be competitive in the market. We've brought Lufthansa uh, Lingus to Liverpool in the last cup last year. And there's other airlines we are absolutely committed to bringing here.